uh, the objective of this chapter first is to list the network media yes. nowadays widely used in the network and then explain the mechanisms of the network device how to use the network media okay now we just uh, look into the topology and uh, this is the most simple network only contains two devices and uh, one line to connect these two devices together and then the lines in this net in this picture just the network media and uh, in nowadays enterprise network uh, there are different type of network medias such as the uh, twist pair cables coaxial cables optical fibers and uh, in our WLAN we just use the radio waves okay and uh, now this is a coaxial cable okay we can see in this picture there are two types of cables okay these cables one is called 10 base 2 and another is called 10 base 5 and the 10 base 2 have a small diameter and uh, the 10 base 5 have a, have a bigger diameter so the 10 base 2 we usually call the thin axial and the 10 base 5 we also call the thick coaxial and uh, the thin coaxial can extend a small distance that's the 100 uh, 85 meters longer and uh, about I think about the 200 meters and the 10 base 5 can extend a longer distance that's the 500 meters okay and these two coaxial cables can connect by different connectors the thin coaxial use the BNC and the 10 base 5 use the type in connectors okay in the coaxial cables nowadays is seldom used it's widely used uh, I think about uh, 20 or 30 years ago okay because the coaxial cable only support 10 mega bps yeah the 10 base 2 the, in the 10 base 2 the 10 means 10 mega okay this is 10 mega BPS. Of, the, of course, nowadays in our enterprise, they are seldom use 10 mega BPS Ethernet. Okay? Yeah. Then we go to the twist pair cable. Okay. Uh, twist pair cable nowadays is widely used. And uh, we can see in the, in the twist pair cable, uh, there's uh, eight lines and uh, each two of them is twisted together okay and uh, the twist pair there's two types one is called STP uh, STP and another is called UTP the STP means shielded and the UTP means unshielded the shielded cable is covered by a aluminum foil okay and then is more robust to the magnetic interference okay and uh, the twist pair have a different standard usually we have category three category four and category five each category means different qualities to carry the signals and uh, we can see that's the 10 base that means the 10 mega bps signals 10 mega bps signals can carry on cut three okay and uh, 100 mega bps can carry on cut five and uh, one thousand that's the one giga one giga bps can carry it on category 5e okay uh, we can see that's the bigger number that means higher quality okay in uh, each k 
can have the same distance extended. We can extend the 100 meters of the twist pairs. And uh, the twist pair use a connector we called RJ45. Okay. Use this connector to connect to the PCs, to the switch, and to any device connected to the network. Okay. And uh, this is a twist pair. And uh, another is the fiber, the optic fiber. And uh, nowadays, the fiber is also widely used. And the optical fiber can support a um, higher speed than twist pair. We can support, of course, 100 or 1 giga. And nowadays, there are 10 giga, 40 giga, okay, and uh, 100 giga. Okay, this speed can both can all supported by the fiber optical fibers. In optical fiber, there are two types. One type is multi mood, multi mood. And uh, another type is a single mood, single mood. In the uh, single mood and the multi multi mood, there are difference uh, of the optic carried in these fibers. And the single mood can carry the uh, optical signals to a more far distance, okay, a longer distance. And uh, we can see the single fiber can carry about two kilometers, and the multi mood uh, can only carry several hundred meters distance. And uh, the fiber, optical fiber, the connect, there are many connector types. This we call SC connector. This is uh, a big square connectors. And uh, this we call LC connectors. This is a small square connectors. And uh, these two types, okay, uh, we call FC connectors. FC connectors. Of course, there are still others such as ST connectors. Okay. This is the fiber optic. And uh, then the serial connectors, serial lines. And uh, the serial, uh, I think it uh, has a long history. Uh, it's introduced about 50 years ago. And uh, the speed of the serial lines uh, is low, and the distance is short. short. And uh, the most well-known standard for the serial is RS232. OK, that's RS232. And uh, nowadays, the serial lines is seldom used. But uh, in some scenario, we also we still use this, such as uh, Console line, console. The console line still use the serial line. Okay, in the, the serial line did not define, that's not define the uh, physical connectors, physical connectors. So, now this widely used connector for serial line, there's DB9, or DB25. Okay, this is widely used. And uh, this connector, this connector is the DB25. Okay, and uh, this connector is the V.35. Okay, and uh, now this, uh, later, uh, the EIA introduced other standards such as IS2422. Okay, uh, the speed and the distance of this standard is incre increased, uh, but nowadays still not widely used. Nowadays, uh, I think more widely used the serial uh, serial lines, just the USB. Okay, universal. Serial bus, okay. 
Okay, this is nowadays is most widely used. Okay, and uh, then signaling encoding in the media. Uh, as we know, when the PC is sending the signal in the line, the data must be encoded. Uh, I think the most simple encoding just use the voltage. The, the high voltage means one, or the low voltage means zero. Okay, this is the most simple. And, uh, but there are some shortcomings. Okay, uh, for example, if there is a series of ones, then it's a high voltage. Okay, and then because the clocking of the sender and of the receiver is not, I think there is a deviation. Okay, that's not the exactly the same. So if there is a series of ones, and then for example, the number of the number of the ones. For example, sending 20 ones, and then when the counting of the receiver maybe make a mistake. For example, counting the 21 ones, so there's a mistake. So uh, there are some improvements of this encoding system. The most important is in included the clock signals, clock signals into this encoding. And then there's a famous encoding mechanism we call Manchester encoding. Okay, Manchester encoding. And uh, the Manchester encoding just uh, integrates the clock signals into the information, into the data that's sending from the uh, sending part to the receiving part. Okay. In, uh, of course, there are still other encoding mechanisms, okay, such as NZRI, okay, and uh, 4B slash 5B, and so on, okay. And then, the network device, how to use the media. Okay, uh, in our LAN, we usually use a shared media, okay, such as Ethernet. Then all the device is connected to a shared media. Because this media is shared, so when two devices sending the signals at the same time, then these two signals collision, okay, collision. And then the receiver cannot hear the signals clearly. So in this domain, that only one device can send out signals at one time. Okay, this we call the collision domains. In the collision domains, we must have a mechanism to make sure at one time, only one device can send the signals. This mechanism we call CSMA and then CD, okay. Of course, this is a abbreviation. The CS means carrier sense. MA means multi access. That means that many devices can connect to one media. Okay, that's a multi access. And then the CD, that's the collision detect. The carrier sense means that when the device wants to send data to the media, then first should to sense the carrier, sense the media. If there's other device sending, if other device is sending, then hold. If other device, no other device is sending, then I can send out. Okay, of course, this is the avoidance of the collision, but this cannot make sure no collision will happen because if the two device wants to send it out and then carrier sends and no one is sending then they send the data at the same time, then the collision still happened. So the device should detect if the collision is happened. If the collision is happened, then they will hold back. 
pull it back. And then wait a landing time. And then sending again. Okay, this is a mechanism we call the CSMA CD. Okay. And then the duplex mode. Okay. In this network, the two devices and uh, they are connected by one line. Then, of course, the data must be sending and receiving from each other, okay? But then there are the two mood. First is the half duplex. Half duplex means only one side can send data at one time. Yeah, I can send in and I can receive, but when the other part is sending, I must hold, okay? And then when the other side is finished, finished the sending, then I can begin to send data to the other side. Okay, this is the half duplex. Then another mood is the full duplex. The full duplex means both sides can send out the data at the same time. Okay, when, when the other side is sending, I can still send out the data. That's the full duplex. No collision will happen in a full duplex media. Okay. And uh, then we go to the end. Of course, there are uh, three questions. Okay. First, uh, what media can be used by gigabit Ethernet? Okay. Uh, as we have listed, can coaxial cable support? No. Coaxial cable can only support uh, can only support 10 mega. Okay, that's a one solar mega. We can use the twist pair. Of course, the twist pair have different qualities to supporting the gigabit BPS. Okay, we must use the cut 5e. That's the higher than cut 5e. Okay, uh, of course, there's the cut six, okay, category six. Okay, and uh, of course the fiber, the fiber, both the single mood fiber and the multi mood fiber. Okay, and uh, any other? Okay, uh, just this. Okay, what is the collision domain? The collision domain means a network segment, that's the in this segment, only one PC, only one device can send it out at one time. If more than one, that's uh, if two or more than two device sending data at the same time, then the collision will happen. That's the signals will be destroyed. Okay, this is the collision domain. And uh, what is the purpose of the CSMACD? The CSMACD is to provide a mechanism for device in a collision domain, how to use the network media, okay? Okay, uh, this is the end of this chapter.